Okay, let's start by creating an account. It's best to do this part on a computer, not a mobile device. And it works on these three browsers, Chrome, Edge, and Safari. On the h &F website, let's go to the Grin Registry page and choose New to Grin. That's gonna ask you to complete a request access form. So you go ahead and you complete the information, basic contact information, acknowledge that you're at least the age of majority where you live, acknowledge that you're in the US or that you're in another country but understand the account is created in the US. Then you can choose patient or caregiver if you're filling the information out for someone else. Then you click sign up. Next, you'll need to open up your email. Notice it comes from HNF. So it says that the account has been created. You click on create password, enter your email address and choose send verification code. Now you've got to go back to your email. This time from Microsoft, it'll say Microsoft account email verification code. So the code is 609655. This code's good for 20 minutes. So keep that in mind. I'm going to verify the code and create the password. And I'm going to put in my password and then click continue. On your first visit, you'll need to agree to the matrix terms of use. Next, you'll read through the informed consent and complete the statement of consent. And complete. Now you just need to fill in. You finally made it to the natural history study. This is where you'll answer about 60 CMT related questions about how, how CMT affects you. So please take your time and answer the questions as best you can. You'll need to scroll down all the way to the bottom to click next to move on to the next screen. Next, you'll be asked to complete the NIH funded ClinGen surveys. These are a new and exciting feature to Grin that will allow researchers to better understand other signs and symptoms that may or may not correlate with your type of CMT. The first survey is just five quick pages. In the beginning, they ask about your genetic testing, and if you haven't had genetic testing, don't forget to use the CMT Genie and sign up and we can get you help, help get you tested for that. I'm gonna say that I don't have my genetic results at this time. And then we start answering a series of questions about all the other body symptoms. So there's your mother's pregnancy and then growth, endocrine system. Have you had any cancer, any issues with your head or neck, with your eyes or vision, ears and hearing, brain or nervous system, behavior, skin, bones and cartilage, muscles, heart and blood vessels, lungs and breathing, digestive system, kidney bladder, the immune system, blood and bleeding, and oral health. So if you'd like to have a copy emailed to you, you can click here and then just choose complete. Now, if you had your genetic test, here's where you could upload it. The um, file types that are accepted are listed here. You could just take a picture or you could upload a PDF. I'm gonna cancel because I don't have one right now. And if you don't have it, it's not a problem. You can click here and you will have a chance to upload it again later. So I'm gonna say finish. And now I'm gonna to choose to go in as a patient. So this is your dashboard. Let's start by reviewing the left side menu. So this is a dashboard where you'll see all of your surveys, new in progress, along with the time to complete, the number of questions, and your start button. In the general information menu, this is where you have all your demographics. And if you wanted to make an edit, you can just click the green edit button. For example, if now I have a genetic test that uh, now I know that I have CMT1A, I can go ahead and make that change and save it. In surveys and studies, this will show you all your new and in progress studies. These were served up based on the questions that I answered on that head to toe or the health and development survey. And here's your completed surveys. Wanted to show you something here with completed surveys that over in these three little buttons, sometimes called a hamburger menu, you can analyze. So I could analyze my results compared to other people with CMT1A and show how many other people had mothers, fathers, or both mother and father with CMT1A. Kind of neat to be able to do your own little analytics. Again, that was the natural history study, the hamburger menu, and then just click analyze. You can also choose to email it to yourself from here. Eventually we will get to insights. We're not doing anything with that yet. And the journal is just for you to uh, use for your personal needs. Messages is where you will receive messages from me from inside the Grin platform. I'll be sending messages periodically 
And I'll show you in a minute how you can get email notification that you've got a message in Grin. Documents is where you would upload your genetic report. Just use the green upload button. It can be a PDF or a photo. So hopefully you'll participate in the CMT Genie, you'll get your genetic test, and then you can come back and upload it. Again, the important thing here is that for research, we want to know that people have a verified genetic test, confirmed genetic diagnosis to compare with the signs and symptoms in the patient reported survey, the natural history study that you did earlier. The sharing center is where you can create a link to share any of your surveys with your doctor and you can set it for an expiration so that it'll expire after a certain amount of time. And you can share that link or you can print the reports and, set and share them with your doctor. And finally, the resource center. This is just a test environment, so I don't have it here, but this is where you would find, for example, the CMT uh, HNF Thrive Guide that has, uh, it's an online guide that provides you instant access to all of the resources and tools that we have for CMT patients. And finally, the contact button, that goes directly to Matrix if you have technical issues, but you can always email me at registry coordinator at hnf-cure.org for other questions, comments, or just to say hi, I'd love that. On the top right menu, this is where you can select your language and on your account, this is where you could change role from patient to caregiver if you signed up as both. And you can also change your communication settings. So again, the green edit button, you can change a time zone. And then most importantly, this is where you would change your notifications to see if there are new studies or surveys available. We would An email would come out to you if there's a new one. And then also if there's a message, you would get an email or a text alerting you to come into Grin and check your messages. So we hope that you would leave both of those turned on so that you don't miss anything. And you will receive an email that looks like it, it, it will say it came from HNF. It won't look like the normal HNF emails. Just know that it's not spam. It did come from Matrix. So that's Grin. I hope that you will join us soon. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Again, it's registry coordinator at hnf-cure.org.